and Shiki. First, we need to work with just three measurements the shoulder, the length, and the neck. Then, to measure Agbada, we are going to work with two measurements. We are working, going to measure the shoulder from the middle of the back, where the spinal cord is, to the wrist. Then, the length. Okay, let's start for now. From here, you see where I place my tape. You see where I place my tape. Take it from this place st straight to the shoulder. Here, you're going down, down to this place. So now we are having 34. 34, we call it shoulder. This 34 is the perfect shoulder measurement for Dashiki. So, to get this 34 perfect measurement, you start from here, like I said, to this place. From the left hand side to the right hand side. Then, to get the length of the Dashiki, you also measure here. From the shoulder, you measure the length. From the shoulder down to the chest where the male breast is. From where the male breast is, you take it like this. You see I place my tape. Placing my tape like this will give you the, the fitting of the dashiki. To make it work, we have 37. This 37 is the normal perfect dashiki measurement. So that is all for the length. Remember to measure the shoulder from the hand to the other hand. Then from there, then you measure the neck. This time around, you don't measure the neck like this, you measure the neck like this, you take it down like this, from here we have 20, why we need to have 20 is because we need the neck to be wide, once the neck is wide, it doesn't have anything to do with fitness of the neck, the neck needs to be wide, so the wideness of the